Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, make us worthy in the abundance of your grace and mercy to glorify your resurrection with pure hearts to celebrate your victory with holy hymns and to proclaim your might with pure tongues. We thank you for your love and we worship you crying out, Christ is risen, he is truly risen. To you be glory to your Father and to your Holy Spirit now and forever. Peace be with the church and her children. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the living and immortal one who gave life to his people by his cross and salvation to his church and happiness to his flock by his resurrection. When he appears, he will give joy to his inheritance. To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives and forever. Amen. We worship and we praise you, O only begotten Son. You descended into the darkness of the tombs, and you worked wonders in the realm of the dead. By your resurrection you freed the captives, and by your voice you awakened the righteous and the just, who had gone to their rest in the sleep of death. You gather the nations to worship you and to proclaim your salvation. They rejoice and they cry out. On Friday the king endured pain and was crucified, and today victory has been achieved by his resurrection. On Friday a lance pierced his holy side, and this day in his compassion the waters of baptism flow. On Friday he was crowned with thorns, and today he has adorned his church with a crown of splendor. Today is the day of rejoicing in the resurrection. Today is the day of rejoicing for all who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection. Today, with the fragrance of this incense, the church and her children celebrate and sing hymns of glory, saying, O Creator of life, you have saved us by your passion and have given us life by your resurrection. Now renew our image by your grace, clothe our bodies with the power of the Spirit, so that we may shine in the robe of glory, and in its light see you the true bridegroom. In your grace make us and all the faithful departed worthy of your heavenly kingdom, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Daughters of the nation, sing the hidden Father's praise. He betrothed you to his Son out of his great love for you. He sent him to take on flesh from Mary and to save the world. He endured death on the cross on account of Abba's death. Send his arm on high.
Sacrifice yourself for us, we give you thanks. O oh, incense of forgiveness, we worship you for you have brought us close to your Father. You have enriched us by your birth, purified us by your baptism, sanctified us by your crucifixion, reconciled us to the Father by your resurrection raised us up by your ascension, and adorned us with the gifts of your Spirit. Now, O Lord, accept our incense, and fill us always with your sweet fragrance, so that our tongues may never cease in giving thanks to you forever. is rejoicing for her shepherd truly rose Christ who died for his people conquered death to give new life Lord our God you accepted what the just had offered you now accept in your mercy our pure sacrifice and A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Glory to the Lord of Paul and the Apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader, the listeners, upon this parish and her children forever. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy. Complete my joy by being of same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, 
but also everyone for those of others. Have among you yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the same name is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise be to God always. Alleluia. For the proclamation of the gospel of our Savior, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask mercy of you, O Lord. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Saint Matthew, who proclaim life unto the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen. The Apostle Matthew writes, And after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was as lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him, and they became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you seek Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he told you. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead and he is going before you to Galilee and there you shall see him. Behold, I have told you. And then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and they ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. And they approached, they embraced his feet, and they did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. 
This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us His words of life. Praise and blessings to Jesus Christ, our Do not be afraid. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So this has been long. <laughs> but of course, what we celebrate especially on this unique event is the gathering of the lambs into the flock of Christ. And what you see in the Kolo today, where it says, Daughters of the Nations Arise, what it is, is the realization on the night of the resurrection is the gathering in, as St. John says, to bring all the children of God dispersed throughout the earth, to bring them into one. Our Lord says it in that strange parable of there where the body is, the vultures will gather. These unusual things, because what the entrance of the word incarnate into the world is, he enters historically into the people of Israel. He is under the law, as St. Paul says. He enters in order to gain the people of the law. But as we've mentioned over these days of the week of the Passion, our Lord's whole purpose, his whole inclination is towards that death on Calvary. From the moment of his conception, the purpose is to arrive at that crucifixion. Because the crucifixion then shatters that nature of man, found in the form of man, and in shattering makes that opening of divinity accessible then to all the nations of the earth. Because the shattering of that Israelite humanity on Calvary is also the shattering of the old dispensation. And St. John uses this in the context when he speaks about Caiaphas during the trial or before the trial of our Lord. When Caiaphas, the high priest, just tells them, you're all idiots, you're not doing anything here. Can't you see everyone's following this upstart rabbi? And don't you understand that it is more expedient that he be taken out of the scene rather than the risk of losing everything we have and losing our nation and losing the authority and losing the temple? We'll lose our place. It's expedient that he be taken out of the picture so that the nation may survive. And St. John adds that beautiful phrase as an aside, as he often does in his gospel, giving a commentary. And he says, yes, truly, he dies then not only for the nation, but to gather in all of the dispersed children of God throughout the world. That movement towards the gospel is a sign of predestination. That movement towards the light of Christ to be born again is a sign of being drawn into the divinity. That's why the Kolo begins, O daughters of nations, all of the peoples of the earth arise because you have been given through the death of our Lord to find the glory of life in the resurrection. This is the meaning of our Lord's death on Calvary. It's not it's a human tragedy, of course, but it's not what it is primarily. Primarily, it is God coming in his incarnation to become the living veil between the holy place and the holy of holies. And that accession, that entrance into the holy of holies, you've witnessed today in the baptism. You could have an entire conference on, the, on the, just the baptismal ceremony. It dates from the fifth century. It is almost certainly one of the oldest liturgical texts we have. It is filled with imagery. You can take one of the books home if you want. It is absolutely exquisite. And it was probably written by St. Um, Jacob of Sarug. And that beauty of this entrance of the Lamb into the flock of Christ is we celebrate not only here, but in all the Catholic parishes throughout the world, there are people who are being brought into that light, children of the nations, children of the daughters of the nations, being brought in and gathered in amongst the children of God into the flock of Christ. And it is a very beautiful thing indeed. I have always told every parish that I have worked in, you will know whether your parish is living counting the number of baptisms you have each, well, for us it would be epiphany, but each year. 
Not babies, babies are great, but babies just come. Well, they do come now, and hopefully that will continue. But if converts, and God only knows how many Mainers need to convert. And so you have a lot of field to harvest, but that is really the truly living vitality. And I had one year 11 people who entered, the youngest being a 10-year-old girl, and the oldest one once was a 75-year-old woman. To have three quarters of a century washed down into the forgiving love of the Sacred Heart through the mystery of baptism. And the good woman passed away three years later. So on this night of mysteries, on this night of divine charity, on this night of victory, let us render thanks to the Lord God for the things that he allows us to witness. And may he make it even more abundant in the future, a thousandfold, through our fidelity as we also become agents of life and of grace to those around us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, to him all things are made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate for the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has suffered through the cross. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Tell what Madame Hagan of Ho, one of Talo Hod and Hard Tayo, when him so good I would talk, you love my talk with good of higher claw or good a show. transfer hymns for the resurrection? No? Okay, never mind. Sue? Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your imperishable kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, 
We recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Chosen One, our Holy Father, Saint Mary, Saint Jude, and Saint Bernadette of Subiru. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered for the intentions of Ignatius, Sergius, Cameron, Griffith. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. We pray to glory and honor the most holy Trinity. Alleluia. Continue with the anaphora of St. John Chrysostom on page 876. 876. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Lord God and Father, holy and glorious is your name. You deliver those who love you from all that is contrary to your will. May we who have remained in your divine love be made worthy to give one another the greeting of peace with a holy kiss. May we always speak words of peace, think of peace, and work for peace. Through the grace of your only Son and his love for all people, we raise glory to you and to your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, O holy altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, O minister of God. Peace to you, O server of the Holy Spirit. Let us give a greeting of peace to our neighbor with love and faith that are pleasing to God. Peace, peace love, love, and faith, brothers and sisters, from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. And may the God of peace be with us. O Lord, on high, hidden from all creation, you are peace, reconciling those who are enemies. You are forgiveness to those who sin, and you are comfort to those who are sorrowful. Open the door of your mercy to our petitions, and in the abundance of your grace accept our prayers. Make us children and heirs of your kingdom, through the grace of your only Son and his love for all people, and through your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, you are adored by all. Angels bless you, humanity exalts you, and all creation glorifies you. Look upon your children who call out to you with purity and holiness. May we offer you an acceptable sacrifice that we may raise glory to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father and the grace of the only begotten Son and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence. 
offerings and worship him with humility. It is right and just. Truly it is right and just to thank, adore, glorify, and bless the majesty of the one consubstantial Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a majesty that does not need our glory or become greater with our things. O Lord, those who sing your praises are countless, and they cry out with angelic voices and sweet melody, and with sweet melodies proclaiming. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your grace, Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come, and will come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the He willingly became man to make us divine. He was born of a woman's womb that we may be born of a spiritual womb. He became our brother so that through his grace we may become your children and heirs. He took us from being slaves and made us your children. He promised us a share in the reward that allows us to call you Abba. He cleansed us from our sins with his precious blood that he poured out for us, for he is your only son. Kuriya yalayi son, wabiyao mo khawdak tum khashon illay ma bad khayye. Ansab al-ahma mina kori shanta upar akhu qadash. Waksu ya bin tanmita karumara, sab akhu lam mehne kul khun. Khunu deni ta. Fahru dil, dakhlo faikun, wahlav sagiyem, veta khaseyu meti hab, khusuyun, khambe wa khayyidan qalam alameen. So dumb sich for men, Hamro men, my yo. Barahu Kodesh, O Yabil Tanamita, Kodomara, Sabish Tower, Mehene, Kulukun, Hono Denita, Dumahodila, Diatiki Hadato, Dahlo Faikun, Wahlov Sagi. Et un shadow meti hab, Hosoyon, Home wa hoye dan kalam alamin. Amen. Do this in memory of me, each time you eat this bread and drink this cup. You remember my death until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. Comprehend that you willingly emptied yourself of your divine glory. Who can explain your miraculous birth from a virgin? Who can repay you for your saving passion which you freely endured? Who can praise your plan of salvation for us? We can only ask of you, O lover of all people, that this sacrifice which we have offered be accepted on your altar in heaven, the dwelling place of your hidden divinity, in the company of all the angels and saints. Through this sacrifice, may we be worthy of the forgiveness of our sins. When you come to judge the living and the dead, do not pass judgment upon us, nor deny us, saying, I do not know you. On that glorious and fearful day, do not separate us from you, nor cast us out of your paradise to a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Rather, because of your holy name by which we have been called, look with mercy upon us. 
In your compassion you have made us worthy of the gift of your forgiving body and blood. So make us worthy to be one with you in holiness, as you are one with your Father. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father. Have mercy on us. As we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, that you're sanctified we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, have mercy 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 on us, upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Anin monio, anin monio, anin monio, nite modoro chayu kodisho, unachen alainu al korbono hono. Christ our God, be for us a pledge of the life to come, a body that grants us the everlasting joys of heaven, a body that renews our souls and bodies, a body that purifies us of all sin for eternal life. Amen. And that this mixture in this chalice, the blood of Christ our God, be a blood that gives new life to those who receive it, a blood that guides us to the safe harbors and the dwellings of light, a blood that renews our souls and bodies, a blood that purifies us of all sin for eternal life. Amen. Great mercy when this body and blood is mingled with our bodies and souls. Grant that it may be for the pardon of faults and forgiveness of sins and for the everlasting joy and eternal life with all your saints. Amen. We offer you, Lord God, this pure and holy offering for your holy Catholic and apostolic church which you have redeemed. Gather her children into unity, love, and faith, and guide them in peace and security. We offer it for the pure bishops of the true faith, Francis, the Pope of Rome, Bashar Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Gregory John, our Bishop, the Venerable Priests, the Chaste Deacons, the Pure Subdeacons, and all the Orders of the Church. Teach them the word of truth, so that they may spread it faithfully, with justice and holiness. May they care for the flock that you have entrusted to them. Give them the proper means to accomplish your will and grant them a long life. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor and the dejected, for orphans and widows, for the sick and the distressed, and for those tempted by evil spirits, through the guardian and refuge of their lives, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember the Holy Fathers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, and confessors, especially the holy, glorious, and blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. John the Baptist, the messenger and forerunner, who witnessed the betrothal of your holy church, your son. Glorious Saint Stephen the Archdeacon and First Martyr, and all who pleased you and professed your name, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all the faithful departed who have gone to you from this altar and from every place throughout the world, Grant them rest in your heavenly dwellings with all your saints, and in your mercy forgive our sins and theirs. Grant us, O God, to departed, and forgive the sins we have committed, with or without full knowledge. O Lord, do not 
deprive us of your mercy, but keep us in the palm of your hand, lest we fall and go astray, so that we may walk on your paths, follow your ways, and do your will. Forgive us and our departed, and pardon all sins and transgressions, hidden and seen, committed with or without full knowledge. Make us worthy of a faithful Christian death that is pleasing to you, and join us to your righteous ones and to those who have done your will, that in us and in all things your blessed name may be glorified with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be And he accomplished his plan of salvation for us so that we may come to you. May we call upon you with the prayer that he taught his holy disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Yes, O merciful Lord, we ask for your compassion. By your grace, make us worthy, so that your glorious name may be made holy in us, that your kingdom come to assist us in our weakness, and that your will dwell within us. Deliver us from all difficult temptations, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Shlomo in the Wa'am Yehovah Elo. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him, and receive the blessing from the Lord. O oh Lord God, you are good and the lover of all people. Look upon those who bow their heads before your majesty and bless them with every spiritual blessing. Do not turn us away when we are approached your divine and holy gifts, and let us not be guilty of unworthily receiving the body and blood of your only Son. Rather, make us worthy to share in your holy and life-giving mysteries with purity so that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, and to your good and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the Most Holy Trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. Amen. Let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility, and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, 
Blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth. To him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and we raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one, O lover of all people, have mercy on us.
Lord Jesus, you have made us worthy to share in your holy body and in the cup of salvation. How can we repay you for these, your gifts and graces, and for your goodness? As you have called us to approach this life-giving banquet, make us worthy, so that your body may be mingled with our bodies and your blood with our souls, for the pardon of faults, the forgiveness of sins, and for eternal life. You are blessed and your kingdom is holy, and we raise glory to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Shlomo el kolechulna. O God the Father, we bow before you and we entrust ourselves to your care. We ask you, imploring your mercy to rest your right hand full of blessings upon us. Assist us, protect us, bless us, and sanctify us by the Holy Cross of your only Son. We glorify and honor you, your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. So may these next 50 days of the resurrection bring you many, many consolations and great peace in our Lord's grace. Christ is risen. Christ is truly risen. Christ is risen. Christ is truly risen. Mashiho ko men kaburo. Mashiho ko men kaburo. Shari ro ko. Mashiho ko men kaburo. Shari ro ko. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessings of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory forever.